Okay, we've got the Jar of Wisps or whatever it's called. We've got we've got a Devil Deal and a and an Angel Room item. Jar of Wisps is interesting. I'm curious to see how many. Yeah, that thing, the Devil Deal item that makes ghosts spawn from kill enemies. Um, that's a really strong start. But most importantly, really, I'm curious here how many wisps that jar is going to give me at the end of the run. Time to spawn with Damoclas. We had a run that spawned with Damoclas, but I just never popped it. Okay, what's our stats like? We've got pretty decent tier raid. Our damage is abysmal. Speed is pretty much average. I, I still don't know what base range is for Ice Axe, so I don't know if we're above or below average, but it feels pretty good. And then shot speed is kind of whatever, but it's slightly below average, and luck is Omega whatever. But it's positive for once, it's usually negative. Oh, there goes my range. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for a 48 hour energy. I really wanna try and push this jar. <laughs> item room or the store yet. I mean, I'm not too keen on the store, but the item room I kind of want to see. Health up right off the bat is nice because devil deals are Gucci. Uh, can this be the devil deal? I really don't know. Uh, the, the secret room? Apparently it can. Apparently it can. Oh hell yeah. You are out of water, you need to fix that. Water is pretty important and good. Go, go, Seas! Good job. Oh, yeah. Alright. I, I love you. I really do. But I want to see what this jar can do. I, I, don't, I don't love anything in here. Except the soul heart. The soul heart was pretty rad. Shop looking a little more. Yeah, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some shops in this run. Twenty-four cents on basement one. It's pretty bonkers. I don't care about the store. And the game took that personally. Game be like, I'll make you care about the store, fucker. I did not need to use that bomb. Not with the ghosty ghosts. Hmm. Get him, ghosty! Get him, boys! Uh, I'm gonna go in here. There's a chance we can just buy a key. Hmm. Nice key. Uh, there's also a chance we can just bomb in here. Bob you. I mean, that's pretty solid. Um, okay, more use items that I don't want to take because I am committed to that jar. Oh, wait, we can bomb into the... Oh. Did I miss seeing a good store then? No. We have we have seen two stores so far in this run and neither have been good. Oh, I didn't get the... Pfft. Fine. I'll do it for the charges. For the charges on the jar. Oh man, they're looking angry. Look at that. Look at that face. Pretty good boss to find early on, too. Oops. 
goes, put in some work. Oh right, you charged four times, I thought two. Lazy game on my soul hard back. What a lad. Alright, I'll take a less than three. Oops. I'll take a less than three to uh, be able to take a knife in the devil deal without much of a hassle. Without giving up my soul hearts. Okay, come on, dude. Die a bit faster. Thank you. Damage output kind of lackluster without any wisps, huh? Our DPS is pretty disappointing if we don't have Wisps or these guys. Okay, that's a... Uh, wow, I'm getting hit a lot this run. I need to slow down a bit. This is a great boss with that ghost summoning item. Get him, boys. Good god, look at all that health we're getting, too. Oh. Alright, cool. That's gonna fix the damage issue. That's gonna fix the damage issue quite a bit. Curse of the Blind. Alright. Let's hope we don't find any secret room items anymore. It's that room. Of course, this is a room where we don't get a lot of babies to spawn. And again, I don't know how much the babies really help in this one. Something, something, teleporting enemies in the big room. All right. Oh, right, blind curse. Um, YOLO. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, at least it won't show up in the boss room. Although I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have done that either way after we saw it there, even as a question mark. Hey Casper, welcome! Oh god. It's blind curse, so we don't need to look for the item room. Maybe this time we can also get a planetarium. Who knows? Maybe? Can I ask a noob question? What do you focus first on locking in Isaac? Um... There's probably guides for that on YouTube as to what unlocks you should be going for first, but frankly... I don't think there's anything that's so particularly game-changing that you should be focusing on at first. The thing that you should be focusing on first is learning the room patterns. Getting to know what the enemies do, because then eventually it's not gonna matter what items you find or don't find. 
But also, I literally don't know off the top of my head, like, how you can unlock what and how to do it. Maybe I should look into that and turn it into a YouTube video, too. Unlock the D6 on Isaac. That's a good starting point, but you have to beat, like, 20 runs for that or so. 10 runs. So, I don't know. D6 definitely makes things a lot easier. Hi! Man. I am not having a good time here. Uh, okay, this is item room number four, and this is item room number three, and every single one of them so far had a use item, and I do not want a use item. Because I'm trying to make a thing happen here. You unlocked almost all characters. I mean, I, I feel like if you've unlocked every single character already, or almost every character, you're so far along that you really should just be focusing on doing runs. Fill in your completion marks. Ten minutes. This is pretty slow, but we're getting a lot out of it. We have twisted pairs, so we can pretty much turn up the speed. At any point in time. Man. How do eye drops affect the two little demons? I would assume not at all. Really glad we got a ghost out of that. And Carrion Queen is too fast. Doesn't matter because Carrion Queen's got the zoomies. Dude, we have like no damage output. Alright, we need to actually turn up the speed here. We gotta shift into second gear at this point. We're doing pretty pretty slowly. 13 minutes in caves 2. I usually try to leave this place after 10 minutes if I have a run that goes to the boss rush. It's kind of my internal benchmark. Now going to Delirium, getting the Hush Door is a bit more forgiving, so it's not like we're behind pace, but... We gotta be careful not to fall behind pace. Oh hey, it gives you a red and a white flame on the fourth play? Interesting. AMA votes, alright, oh, that's the thing. Soon, TM. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult at least. Let's stay close to the wall. Unless this guy just decides to hug the wall when he does the brimstone, there's no way you can avoid getting hit. Hi. Oh, 
of like this guy. Too much randomness in that. Floor layouts have been so weird. And I still haven't found a planetarium. This is the second run where I skipped an item room and we haven't found a planetarium so far. And there's not that many more chances. We're still not done here. There we go. No greed. Uh, I don't know if that affects these guys, but it's definitely gonna affect this guy. Yeah, those tiers seem to have gotten bigger. For some reason my flames have gotten bigger too, I think. So those are also affected by BFF. Interesting. Today I learned. Is soy milk still a meme? Yes. Soy milk will always be a meme. In our hearts. Uh, that's one. RNG rocks, didn't decide to hit me. Twice. You'd love to see it. They did decide to hit me there and cost me my devil deal. 2.8% poggers? Oh. I want to find the item... This is a long backtrack. I hope I'm not going to regret that. But I don't want to find my next item room with just a use item in there. It's less of a meme than before though. I mean, it's still a pretty big meme. Maybe less than before, sure, but it's still not a good item. I really hope I'm not gonna get that. What? He can do that? Okay. It's okay, we're gonna find a planetarium with, I don't know. Luna. Oh my God, I made a huge mistake coming for this item room. But at this point I'm committed. Remember, we do have to beat Mom's heart in under 30 minutes in-game time. We also need to, like, not die. We've been taking a lot of damage. Dude, I can't believe how long this floor is. What is happening? What?! Come on, this has got to be over soon, right? Oh my god, and it still goes on, too! Like, it's, that's got to be a mid-boss. I don't want to know what's over there now. <laughs> Is this the super secret room? Like, did the game do something super weird on super secret room? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. How much? Dude. What? <laughs> I don't want that to. I'll be down to one heart.
That's super secret. What the hell? Oh, is that battery work? Where it does sometimes take damage picking it up? I thought you just always took damage when you picked it up. Our buddy in a box is firing poison tears. That's pretty decent. Okay. I want the heart. Don't make damage, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe damage preventing items can save you. It'd be interesting to see what your item layout is when you don't take damage. Uh, I really don't have a use for that fool card. Of course, now that I don't have a use for it, it just falls into my lap. I guess I have more of a use for that fool card. I can actually blow up the, the thingy alongside the Wheel of Fortune. Get the fool card in case we get a challenge room. There's more than one. Yeah, there's another super battery too that just fully fills up your item. It doesn't have a skull on it. Uh, yes, absolutely. Chariot. Delirium, right? Good lord, look at these flames. Thank you. Didn't see what the card was. Yeah. Hey Toby Tron, welcome. That Jar of Wisps is starting to really ramp up. I kind of did not think it would be doing that much for us. That's not really worth it until we find a money equals power maybe. There is that challenge room I was talking about. Ah, sure. Wretches are garbage, man. Absolute garbage.
That is so many wisps. And it goes up to 10. I wonder if it caps at any point in time. Plan C for the delirium fight. Fantastic item. Look at all those wispies! Um, kinda want that chest, not gonna lie, that's a ghost chest in the middle. Oh, we have a little kitty follower. Look at that. That's actually a big kitty follower. Little cat. Oh, the, the ghost summoning item is actually going to be pretty crazy good against Hush. And that fly summoning phase. Hi! Should we roll the dice on Void and pop the Emperor card and hope he doesn't take us to Delirium? We could also just- we're just gonna pop it here to shorten the floor. This is the last floor I can really pop it on, so... And we skipped a whopping one room with it. Great. Oh. Okay. Does that do anything for me? Do we have any additional effects that get triggered by that? I don't think we do. Also, we're probably just gonna lose it on Hush anyway, so... Let's keep the petrified poop. What do we got? Nice golden key. That card is okay. This was all in all a very unspectacular void. This cap is 26. The fuck kind of number is that? It's gotta be some biblical reference, right? That's everything in this game. We can try and reach that cap this run, but it seems pretty unlikely. Here to peak again during break, how's it holding? We had a pretty interesting run just beforehand where I blinded into a cursed eye. So that was neat. And now we're going to delirium, so all in all. Just a normal day at the office, I'd say. Come on, lots of ghost spawns. Any ghost spawns? Oh, goodbye, Wisp. Flies and purple shots, that's exactly what we want to see. And too bad I can't reach him. Oh, 
Oh, you meant the internet? So far, no frame drops in one and a half hours. Fingers crossed it stays this way. Otherwise, everyone's gonna have to work overtime making telecom mega lol. I really hate this phase, there's too many tears going on for you to get chased there by a freaking laser. Okay, it's just a result of the three rings of wisps that can spawn. The first ring is three, the second is eight, and the third is twelve. The jar of wisps can spawn a maximum of twelve at once. I see. It feels like something is missing from the stream without the constant outages. Yeah, something's definitely missing, like the significant drop in viewers we have every time it happens. <laughs> All right, void floor. Do, 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 do. You guys have more than 100 HP. Great start. Great start. That, I'm gonna stay as far away from that as I can. Goodbye. Okay, that was fair. Oh my god, the constant pulling and you don't know where it's coming from. Now, unlike last run, this time we definitely want to maximize our value on this floor. Notice it stutters, but I thought it was on my side. Does it stutter for anyone else? That might be on your side. Hey, Probs, how do you know where Delirium is on this floor? Well, good question, Casper V56. Um, I have actually just recently uploaded a YouTube video on the subject, if you want to check it out. Exclamation point YT in chat, you get a link to my YouTube. There's an 8 minute video describing on describing all the rules that are in place for the game to decide. It's also a chat command, but it's a lot less exciting when I just put out a YouTube video. Your unending devotion. Hey, if you could, if you're watching this video on the future on YouTube, which I don't even know if the video is gonna make it on YouTube, but if you're watching it, make sure to leave a comment and a like. I'd greatly appreciate it because it, it appeases the YouTube algorithm gods. 
What a weird floor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hey, look. That's okay. Not great, but okay. We even gave him paint lessons earlier. Hey, that was rad. I wish I'd known that yesterday. Or, well, during the weekend, I guess. Oh yeah, 12 is the maximum. You're right, chat. Look at that. You could like prepare a grid as an overlay to show it live on stream. But why would I show it live on stream when I can just chill my YouTube video now every time somebody asks? And this run really wishes that I'm on equals power, huh? Awkward, awkward floor layout. Like, how have I uncovered this much of the map and I've only seen two boss rooms? One of which I couldn't even go into because it could be the big boy. We're gonna we're gonna end up on a branch that has like three boss rooms at once. Like we're just gonna end up in a in a single room that has a boss room in three directions. Um, okay. okay, well, a beggar would be pretty nice. Am I gonna be seeking any compensation from Vodafone? Nah. We can go in there. Alright, I mean, that's not bad, but it's not really what I was looking for. We can also go in there. <laughs> have I touched books already this run? I legitimately do not know. I don't think I have. Now we have to remove Vodafone Nekalol. Feel free to tell Verant when he gets here. I'm really just hoping we're not gonna need Telecom Mega LOL in the future. Although that does have a much better ring to it. really nice. Damage up and a bunch of black cards. Big fan. This is another one of those floors that was just made to explain the delirium rules. But I'm not going to. If you want to see them, go to YouTube. <laughs> I'm so good at this whole chilling thing, am I? I don't think there's gonna be another boss room, but we're still gonna clear the floor. There could be one down there. It doesn't feel like, somehow it doesn't feel like there's gonna be one here, but I feel like down there might be. Nope. Hold up, what's that? Hermit. All right, let's roll the dice. Gonna make that money, bro? I don't actually make any money off of my YouTube right now because YouTube demonetized me a while back. <laughs> because I never posted anything, to be fair. 
Um, so I'm trying to currently get my watch hours up again. To get... To get monetization options again on YouTube. They want you to have 4,000 watch hours, amongst other things, to be able to monetize your content. Are we... what is this? Are we actually gonna find another... Another boss room? Isn't it super difficult to make good money on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. But I do feel like it's overall one of the more abusable platforms, because it actually has like a search algorithm that you can play, basically. Um, to tilt the odds ever so slightly in your favor. And I'm getting okay at it. Either that or people just get more interest in my videos, I'm not sure. Um, but my, my, my videos do be popping off recently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Man, this, this floor just showcases all the rules again. Easily. Maybe another one of those where you can just tell where Delirium is. How close to 4k are you? I'm still rather far away. I'm currently at like 1.5 thousand. But again, the channel is kind of taking off at the moment. Like... My views have actually gone up pretty significantly over the last few videos, and also pretty fairly consistently. I wouldn't say pretty consistently, but fairly consistently. I'm just trying to figure it all out. And also, you, I mean, you guys can get additional content if you want to go to the YouTubes and check it out. All right, Delirium, full HP, tier builds. We're totally gonna die. Have I been doing YouTube shorts? Not at all yet, but that's the next thing on my agenda. Oh, come on. There's only like 10 possible spots for the secret room. Why can't you just give it to me on the first try? <sighs> oh, stars recently, some people were very confused and thought AO3 of all things had an hour. Tumblr. AO3? What is AO3? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure I understand your message, Mooney. What? Okay. Good job. There's a funnel now from shorts to main channel content, but it's tricky if you put shorts on your main channel. Fanfiction archive is not even social media. Oh, let's see. Algorithm. All right, let's see if we can beat the big boy. Oh my god, again. guy really needs to die. There we go.
Frozen in base form. That's pretty huge. That's the only form he doesn't have a damage shield in. So that was some good damage you got. That was just rude. Like, that wasn't technically unavoidable, but... See shit. Okay. I'm kind of just trying to place as many bombs here as possible because we have glitter bombs, so we have chances to get hearts out of those, and so far that's been working pretty nicely. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I've had worse delirium fights for sure. All right, sweet. Old Bandage also didn't number.